as the lyrics gun gun skip song lose yourself. Uh, but today we're not here to talk about Eminem, but rather rap music as a whole. Today I'm going to begin by talking about the history of rap music. Then I'll move on into the changes that rap music has seen over the years. And I'll end with how the internet has affected rap music. The word rap originally meant to hit or to strike something. As time went on, the word resurfaced in the 1950s in black communities to mean to talk or to speak. And this is where many believe that the current term rapping as a new bit will come from. But let's bring it back a couple hundred years to the 14th century in West Africa, where griots were storytellers who used basic instruments and spoken word to create songs about tradition, family, and current events. This, in its essence, is what rap music is today, just a little more than that. Producer, writer, and artist, Paul Mize, says that in the late 1970s is when rap music really started to take a shape. When DJ Cool Herc hosted back to school parties in Brooklyn. At these parties, he would use turntables to mix two records together and create music for people to dance to. And as he did more and more of these, he started to realize the importance of speaking on the mic to the crowd to get everybody excited. So he enlisted the hope, excuse me, he enlisted the help of MC, Coca Rock, to speak on the mic. MC stood for mic controller, so that was all he did at the party to do talk to. Um, he became the first rapper when he started rhyming. After this, rappers started popping up all over the East Coast and it spread like wildfire. But record labels didn't take interest at first. It wasn't until 1979 with Sugar Hill Gang's Rapper's Delight that the first hugely popular rap music was made. Since Rapper's Delight in 1979, rap music has been a part of the radio and has always been present in music. Um, but the most apparent changes that rap saw was in the complexity of lyrics and rhyme. Let me explain. For example, in certain flows of breaks, rhymes were simple and followed an A and B pattern. For example, in the first line, he lines car and star and then lose his shoes. But without wordplay or pun, this got boring very quickly. So new rappers and innovators in the industry started coming up with new ways to make rhymes. By 1986, the music shows. Here in Rakim's and Eric B's, well, Eric B's president, we see not only the frequency of rhymes is greater, but also the types of rhymes. Here, a total of 14 circles are rhymes, are rhymes, and there's different types of rhymes, like internal rhymes, where MV and Sophia are rhymes in the same sentence, and man made mix and gender to fix are rhymes with multiple children. This continues to be greater and greater as more competition arose, and we move all the way back to Lose Yourself in 2002, where rapper Eminem rhymes a total of 214 strokes, syllables with countless rhyme variations. Now that we've talked a little bit about how rhymes change, I'm going to talk about how rap music has stayed the same. Since its introduction, Rap has always been about being better than the other rapper and flexing your lyrical prowess in the time. Um, but a lot of times the content of rap music stays the same. So, for example, with the children's story, Chronicles the story of a kid who gets involved in crime. Later, when you see an and lose yourself, he asks about his experience as an upcoming rapper in the So, telling stories has been a common occurrence in that he's a self Furthermore, rappers have used their uh, music as a form of social reach. For example, NWA, in their song, Fuck the Police, uh, rapped about injustices faced by Black Americans and police. Rapper Ice Cube says, we have a bad, bad and dirty clown, and then again, that he believes that police think that they have the authority to claim it later. Later in 2013, rapper Reggie Snow, in his song, Love Me, chronicles the story of uh, Trayvon Martin's murder. Now that we've talked about the ways that rapping has stayed the same change and also its early roots, let's move on to more recent in the internet and how the internet is helping to make music, especially rap music, relevant. Uh, in its introduction, in around 1979, like I said, 
uh, music labels and records within that music. Um, so it was really difficult for our time for rappers to get labels of interest. Um, but now with things like SoundCloud and YouTube, where rappers could share their music independently, they could gain a following on their own. And already have a following before they have or something. A huge example of this would be Chance the Rapper. And he was suspended from school for 10 days, he wrote his album 10 days. Uh, he then, in his song Juice, on his next album, Acid Rap, um, raps, gotta get suspended more, hashtag get mentions for it, to make you know to get it trending more. He already had a huge uh, following, and he never signed an album of the same day. Um, additionally, according to digitalmusicnews.com, uh, rap music is the second most, excuse me, the first most listened to genre of music and the kind of work on Spotify. So, new social media platforms and music sharing websites have given people the opportunity to listen to music. Um, other than the radio, so every music is everywhere, especially rap music. Uh, in the video, my first point, I covered the history of rap music getting back to Africa and how it transitioned to what we know as rap music today. Uh, then I discussed the changes in line and how it developed uh, from the 80s to now. And then I talked about how the internet has changed the face of rap with streaming websites and social media platforms to propel the artist and genre to the topic of. 